We start with Aaron in Florida. Thanks for calling the line of fire. Hello, Dr. Brown. How are you doing today? Doing well. Thanks for holding, sir. Yes, no problem. Uh, so I can ask a general question about the Israelites and Jewish people, right? Yes, please. All right. So um, if we if we look at what's going on with the Jews as far as or how God dealt with them, we saw that God dispersed them amongst the nations and he says that he's going to bring them uh, back to the land. And it sounds like there's going to be a second exodus going on. And then once he brings them then, uh, back into the land, it seems like the law will go forth out of Zion. And uh, we could put some of this together if we're looking at Isaiah 1, 2, uh, Ezekiel 20, and um, a few other verses. And so what I'm asking is, um, so if we see this pattern where God is dispersing the Israelites because they didn't keep his his laws and commandments, and this would also eventually go with the Messiah because that's part of the deal or that's part of the uh, commandments. And um, so if we see this, God disperses them for the laws and commandments. And then he says, I'm going to bring you back into the land. Uh, and then there's a verse in Ezekiel uh, 36 where it talks about, I'm going to uh, put my spirit in you and I'm going to cause you to uh, follow my rules. And um, so if we see all this happening, we kind of look at the big picture of all these verses. Would it um, Should the Israelites today, when they come to Christ, uh, is it okay to tell them to forsake the law? If- well, we, we're never telling them someone to forsake the law. That's not a, a New Testament message whatsoever. We're, we're saying that Messiah has brought us into a, a new and better covenant and that we now keep the law by the Spirit. That's what Paul says in Romans 7, not by the old way of the written code, but by new life in the Spirit. So if a traditional Jew came to the Messiah, I would not tell that Jew stop following your traditions, even though some of the traditions I would find contrary to what the Word of God says, I would say, keep looking at the Scripture, keep growing in the Lord, get to know Yeshua better and better, and as they do, they'll be able to see which traditions violate the things of the Spirit, which traditions are negative, which traditions they find as as neutral. So I would never tell a Jewish person who came here, if, if someone came to the Lord, an Orthodox Jew, and Sabbath is precious and special to them, I'm not going to tell them, well, give that up and, and now make it Sunday. That's not a New Testament message. I would say now you can enter into a deeper Sabbath rest in heaven, even greater revelation of the meaning of Sabbath through the Messiah. But I wouldn't tell them forsake the law. I'd say find new life in the Spirit and a new way of keeping God's commands, which are written on your heart. Hey, thank you, sir, for the question and the call.